Hey everybody, Jake here with TrendSpider to go over one of the main features that really differentiates TrendSpider from other platforms, and that is multi-time frame analysis. So what exactly do we mean by that? Well, when you turn on the MTFA button, you can see add multi-time frame analysis. So when you click that, notice how a second time frame pops up, uh, pops up here. So when you turn it off, you'll just see that we're able to see the daily candle and the indicators for the daily candle. When you turn this on, you're actually able to compare a higher time frame to the current price action. So in this case, the daily price action, and now we have actually the weekly trend line over the uh, daily price action. Now what we can also do is we can add auto fibs, and we can have the weekly Fibonacci level overlaid on the daily chart. So um, you can see this here, we've got the weekly chart with the resistance trend line here, and then it's overlaid on the daily price action. Same thing with the SMA 20. We can see that this is the um, simple moving average 20 here, and then we go here and we overlay that. We can see that the, the uh, SMA is the same on both charts. We just have the ability to overlay the weekly on the daily price action to see how the short-term price action is interacting with the longer-term indicators and trend lines. So you can easily add um, another time frame above your current price action um, time frame by doing this. In this case, we have the daily candle, so we can look at the weekly or the monthly. So when we change over to, let's say, the monthly, this is actually looking at something different as well. We're now looking at the monthly Fibonacci retracement levels on the daily chart. So um, this is pretty cool, especially if you want to keep your chart condensed, keep it simple, but still have some of the main indicators that you want to watch on the platform. So in this case, we definitely um, would be able to use a multiple um, kind of amount of upper indicators, but on, at the same time, when we switch back to this, we can actually overlay the lower indicator um, greater time frame as well. So in this case, we have the daily chart, daily technical indicator, which is the MACD, and then we can also add the monthly MACD and see how the monthly MACD is looking relative to the daily. So also we can go to the weekly. So in this case, we can see that there was a weekly MACD cross back in um, late January. And so we can compare that to, you know, we can see that the fast is starting to possibly break through the zero line here. But then on the daily chart, we see something very different. Um, so we can kind of compare these and see how they're um, moving against each other. And you can also do this with other indicators such as the relative strength index. You can look and see and compare um, the daily versus the weekly and see, you know, let's say when the daily is crossing the weekly here, that was an indicator at the bottom that we were breaking out. Same thing when we broke down through this weekly RSI shown by the dashed line we did have more downside when the daily broke through. So you can really kind of create your own studies, kind of see um, what works, what doesn't, and you can really make the chart more efficient with the multiple time frame analysis. You can even do this with Bollinger Bands or the standard deviation bands here. So if we want to look at the daily price action versus the weekly Bollinger Bands, we can easily do that too. So we can see how the daily price action was really respecting the upper Bollinger Band on the weekly um, side of things. And then on the way down, we were really respecting this area as well. We did break down through it, but then we bounced really hard out of this area back in late December. So you can use a multiple range of different indicators from multiple time frames to really uh, make your chart unique and see um, kind of how the shorter term price action is interacting with longer term levels. Thank you so much for listening in to our multi time frame analysis user guide. And please let us know if you have any questions by reaching out to hello at trendspider.com.